we started doing SODIS because initially we, uh, we saw that women and young children especially were having a lot of problems with their, with their lungs. They were coughing a lot, they had problems with their eyes and we realised that this was because they were breathing in a lot of smoke uh, from the cooking fires. Um, and the more I looked into it, the more I found this was a, a really big problem. And in fact, it's uh, one of the biggest killers in Africa is the smoke from wood fires. And, and they say cooking over an open fire is the same as smoking two packs of cigarettes a day for your health. Andy Hart lives in Tanzania since 2002. He works in health farming, health and water in rural communities. Andy Hart advises NGOs and local institutions about how to incorporate Saudis in their projects. So we started to look at how can we reduce this, how, what ways can we reduce the wood smoke. And so we came up with a variety of things, but one of the things we found was that uh, about a quarter of families were boiling their drinking water. And those who were boiling their drinking water, this was the single biggest cause of smoke exposure, because it takes a long time to heat a pot of water up to boiling, uh, and then boil it for the right amount of time. And so that was more, ex more, even more smoke exposure than cooking uh, to boil your water. So we thought, how can we get people to get safe water without boiling? Katika kijiji chetu hiki cha Ndolela tuna tatizo kubwa la maji. Maji ya bomba yamekuwa yanaleta shida mpaka sasa tuna mwezi mmoja na nusu watupati maji ya bomba. Kwa hiyo tunategemea haya hapa ya chemchem tukinyang'anyana na ng'ombe sisi tunachota na ng'ombe kama mnavyoona wanakunywa hapa. Eh ukikuta hapa ng'ombe wamejaa sana ndio tunaenda tunachimba pale visima ndio tunapata maji. Eh watu wameenda kulalamika serikalini lakini wana, serikali inasema kwamba maji yanakotoka mabomba yamechakaa. Kwa hiyo yanapasuka sana huko njiani. Many children they come here for therapy but you find that when they come here for one week and then they get ill. Some of them, they diarrhea or vomit. And when you ask them how, you ask the parents how they use the water, they don't treat the water. They sometimes they use firewood to boil. Firewood is not always available or charcoal is very expensive for them to afford. And that's at that point I read an article about SODIS in a magazine and I had no idea whether it worked. It looked too good to be true. So um, I thought I'd better try it myself. So I put some bottles in the sun outside our house. I left them for, I think, about a week to two weeks to make sure it had enough sun. And then with a packet of medicine for diarrhea in one hand and the bottle in the other, I drank the water and I carried the medicine around with me for a few days and I was fine. So when I, tr I drank it for a few weeks and then I tried it on our children and they were fine. So then we decided, OK, we'll try in the village and uh, we started promoting it in the village. But when we came to promote it, we didn't come in and say, okay, we want to teach you about safe water. We came in and said, the first question is, okay, who's boiling their drinking water? And about a quarter of people would put their hand up. And uh, once we'd found that out, we then asked, who here is, whose children are coughing the most? Who's, whose children have the most uh, respiratory disease? And always those who boiled their water always had a higher level of respiratory disease than the others. In the mid-80s, Afti Makra, professor of environmental sciences at the American University of Beirut, published a study that showed the ability of sunlight to kill bacteria in the water. In the following years, several research centers, such as the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Research, EWAR, or Breeze of Montreal, conducted tests with different materials and under different climatic conditions. Once proven its viability and effectiveness, SODIS has been recommended since 2000 by the World Health Organization and UNICEF. Existen diferentes tipos de tratamiento de agua de bajo coste a nivel doméstico, entre los que se incluyen hervir el agua, el SODIS, que consiste en utilizando una botella de polietileno transparente con agua, colocarlo sobre el tejado de las casas normalmente para que el sol incida sobre el agua y con ello conseguir la desinfección 
gracias a dos factores, que es la luz ultravioleta y el aumento de temperatura que se produce por la exposición solar. With SODIS, it is therefore not necessary that the water reaches high temperatures to achieve the death of the bacteria. Las botellas se producen a partir de un granulado eh, de polímeros eh, que aplicamos a mucha presión y a mucha temperatura para que se puedan compactar. Si expones al sol una botella eh, durante mucho rato y contiene agua, ese agua contendrá pequeñas partículas de plástico que han migrado al agua. Esas partículas tienen radicales libres que son nocivas para el ser humano. Los radicales libres estamos rodeados, estamos expuestos a radicales libres, sobre todo en las ciudades. La contaminación, muchas veces en los mismos alimentos, eh, el mismo cuerpo humano genera radicales libres. Cuando oyes hablar del método SODIS, eh, lo primero que te viene a la cabeza es el peligro de la migración de estas partículas, el peligro del plástico expuesto a muchas horas de sol. Cuando nosotros calentamos la sopa en el microondas, en un plástico, eh, ahí también se desprenden partículas de plástico a la sopa. Y es un hecho cotidiano que muchas veces hacemos, sin darle mayor importancia o sin otorgarle un valor de riesgo. Lo más probable es que no te pase nada en toda tu vida utilizando este método. Studies performed by this Swiss institute indicate that just an innocuous amount of particles of the plastic migrate to the water well below the maximums considered harmful by WHO. Tumependa kufundisha mradi huu wa kuchemsha maji kwa njia ya mionzi ya jua kusaidia jamii ya Watanzania ambao wamekuwa kila siku watu wanapata magonjwa ya tumbo na hii imesababisha uchumi kushuka kwa sababu mtu akishaugua magonjwa ya tumbo husababisha kutumia fedha nyingi kwa ajili ya kujiuguza uh, watoto shuleni hawawezi kusoma vizuri e, kwa mfano tulikuwa tumeenda shule ya msingi kijiji cha jirani tukawaomba walimu walimu wakakubali tukaenda tukawafundisha pale kwa vitendo tulikwenda na chupa na bati la kuanikia tukafika pale tukajaza maji tukachukucha tukawaita wanafunzi pamoja na wao tukawapa mazoezi wakafanya kama tunavifanya sisi basi ile elimu waliikubali and also how you use it we have a small poster that i demonstrate to my parents when I want to explain to them about sodas, how to put the water into a clean container. And the only thing is maybe if the water has particles or we, we show them how to sieve it with a cloth, a white cloth, and then you put it over a bucket and then you pour the water into the white cloth which sieves the dirt particles. The exposure time of the bottles depends on the weather. If the sky is clear, Six hours of exposure would be enough. Ila sio kiundani zaidi kwamba kwa nini wananika kwenye jua. Ila wanachofahamu ni kwamba maji yananikwa kwenye jua ili wale wadudu ambao wako kwenye maji waweze kufa kwa ajili yani kwa njia mionzi ya jua na yakishaanikwa vile watoto wanayatoa na kupeleka ndani yakishapoa watoto wanakunywa maji kwa kweli kwa nyumbani naendelea tu kuchemsha labda niseme sijapata ufahamu zaidi kwa nini waliweka vile vi, vi, vile vimeza vya kuanikia maji wengine wapo kama hapa tulivyoenda nyumba hiyo hapo anajua tu kwamba alikuwa anatumia lakini alijifundishwa lakini ameacha lakini wengi wanaendelea na hii maji haya wanavyoyaona tu kama anaona kama yako baridi anasema afadhali nijinywe tu haya ambayo haijachemshwa watu tunapofundisha uh, mradi wa sodes wanafika mahali wanapokea lakini inafika mahali uh, wanazalao mazoea 
mabaya na mapokeo yanawapelekea wasione tatizo lakini ni tatizo Susie and Andy Hart have built in the town of Iringa, Nima Crafts, a center in which people with disabilities make crafts and children affected receive treatment. Nima also serves as a hub from which they promote SODIS. One of the issues we've seen with, um, with SODIS, why people may start and then they, t they stop a few months later or a year or so later, is because of, it's the bottle supply. Often you find the woman in the household will be managing the sodas, putting the bottles out and looking after them. But one of the children may want to take a bottle with them to drink when they go to the field or to school. That bottle doesn't come back. The, the same, the man in the household goes to the, goes to the field or goes somewhere else, he takes the bottle of water with him. Or he wants to buy some, some fuel, some petrol, some fuel for his motor, motorbike. So he takes a bottle, pours the water out and fills it with petrol. Um, and so the bottles, start to disappear quite quickly in some households. We collect the bottles here for sodas and those are brought in from the safari lodges in the local parks, the hotels, campsites, where the, all the tourists are drinking safe, wa safe water from bottles because that's what they, they trust. So they, they want to get it proper bottled water. And so all these people we persuade to bring their bottles to us. We give them a sheet to put a, for a piece of paper describing sodas and what the bottle is going to be used for which they can put, give to their visitors, their tourists in the information pack so that it helps them to look and say, look at how good we are. Uh, but also tur tourists and other people traveling through learn about SODIS and they may go elsewhere and tell other people about it. Kwa mala ya kwanza, ilikuwa ngumi kudoa kulipokea. Sabu ikuwa ya kwa nielimu, kufundishwa. Lakini ilikuwa ngumu kumapokeo kwamba ndafanye ndawezeje jua likachemsha maji baada kama maji salama lakini tunachukua nafasi ya kuadhibitishia kwamba maji haya ukifata utaratibu mzuri ukachemsha kuanzia saa moja asubuhi mpaka saa nane, maji haya yanakuwa yamechemka vizuri na yanakuwa safi na salama the effectiveness of SARIS is not a matter of faith. It only takes a simple bacteriologic analysis to prove that it actually works. I started to Maji mazuri sababu tulikuwa tunakunywa hivyo hivyo tu hajachemu tulikuwa mara ya kwanza wanachemsha kwenye 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 maji kwenye moto tunakunywa tunakunywa basi yanatoa halufu ya, ya moto sasa haya tumeanika juu yani yanakuwa mazuri con el service consigues una alta eliminación de bacterias no cambias las calidad, la calidad en cuanto al sabor, lo cual es muy bueno porque la aceptabilidad del agua es muy buena, pero no puedes garantizar que ese agua no se vuelva a recontaminar. He takes three precautions. If the water is cloudy, it should be filtered. You would have to change the damaged bottles, and it is advisable to drink the water within 24 hours after disinfection. cada tres niños menores de cinco años que muere, según la OMS, lo hace eh, o bien por diarrea o bien por neumonía, prácticamente a partes iguales. Este tipo de métodos evidentemente podrían reducir eh, en buena medida esa cifra. Lo que sí que es interesante es que los usuarios sean conscientes de los pros y los contras y ellos mismos decidan qué método desean utilizar o si no desean utilizar ningún método para depurar agua y ellos tomen sus propias decisiones. Yo yo tena imepunguza kwa sababu ukiweka jua hili basi jua hili lina nani? Linachemsha maji. Na sikuni zinakuwa kidogo. Ninatafuta tu za kupikia ugali basi. Eh naenda shambani kulima. Nina osha vyombo. Kwa hiyo kazi zinakuwa ambazo kwenye kuni siwezi kuchota maji basi ninaanza kuzifanya hizi za nyumbani. Nimeanza kutumia haya maji baada ya kupata uwezeshaji kutoka kwa 
watu wa kutoka huko diocese kwa kweli ni, ni vizuri kufanya maji kuchemsha maji kwa kutumia miozi ya jua kwa sababu inasaidia kupunguza matatizo ndani ya nyumba Maji, maji, maji kweli ni uhai. Ai mama, maji, maji, maji kweli ni uhai. Ai mama, inatusaidia kuosha vyombo, inatusaidia kupika chakula, inatusaidia kufua nguo. Maji, maji, maji kweli ni uhai. Binadamu wote tunashindwa kula kwa sababu tuna maji tunalalamika tunateseke tunateseka sana maji 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 kweli ni uhai ai mama tunashindwa kuoga tunaenda shule wachafu kwa ajili ya maji 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 kweli ni uhai ai mama tunashindwa kula ai mama tunakosa afya ai mama maji 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 kweli ni uhai finish Thank <laughs> you.